So today I thought we would talk about the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, this time the newer 2022 edition. This tablet has always been interesting. They never really came out with a new version. This is more of an internal update from the 2020 model. So is it still worth buying in 2023? Just like the 2020 version, it's got a lot of good features that you don't really get on other budget devices. And when I say budget devices, I mean around $300 or less. Nice thing is it's got the S Pen included. Unlike with an iPad where you have to buy the Apple Pencil separate, this one also has a headphone jack and the 10.4 inch LCD screen. Looks pretty good on here for the most part, although the version I have does still have that screen bleed or light bleed issue there towards the edge. If you like the more high-end Tab S8 series that has the S Pen, but you want to save money, unless you want the bigger screen, then you would have to go with something like like the Tab S7 FE, which is basically a larger version of this tablet. As far as software goes, it's currently on Android 13, One UI 5.1. I should have plenty of life left on here, probably at least a few more years before I would even start to get concerned about software updates. I believe this is the only budget device that you can get Samsung DeX on other than the Tab S7 FE. And actually you don't even get Samsung DeX on the new Galaxy A54 phone that just came out, which is kind of strange. That one's more powerful than this tablet. Although really I'm not sure if DeX is needed as much now that you've got the taskbar and sort of new layout down there at the bottom, which makes the software a little more DeX-like. The downside to this, just like on the older Tab S6 Lite, is you can't hook this up to an external monitor or TV by using an HDMI adapter like on the Tab S8 or Tab S7 FE. You can also connect a keyboard and mouse to this to be a little more productive. And since they didn't change the design on this from the previous model, there's a ton of accessories, cases, keyboards that you can get for this. Something you don't always get with more affordable devices. This tablet has been updated with the Snapdragon 720 processor instead of the Exynos 9611, which the older model had. So you'll see a nice boost in performance there. Now, as of this video, the only other option that's somewhat similar to this is gonna be the Galaxy Tab S7 FE. I would assume the S8 FE, or it might be called the S9 FE, won't be out till later this year. And for some, that might be worth waiting for. Most of the specs on this tablet are gonna be almost identical to the 2020 Tab S6 Lite. For instance, it's got the 10.4 inch screen. It's not super AMOLED or anything, but it still looks pretty good in person at 2000 by 1200 resolution. Still plenty good enough in my opinion for watching YouTube videos, Netflix, whatever streaming service that you're using. You're also gonna get 2160p or upscaled 4K resolution on YouTube videos, full HD playback resolution on Netflix. And the build quality on this one is pretty much identical to the 2020 version. So a little more dated when compared to the Tab S8 series, considering those are a little more boxy and this one is a little more curved. But if you're into drawing, or let's say you need to outline images, take notes during class, that sort of thing, this is still one of the better affordable options out there. Now it's not gonna be as good as the Tab S8 series, but still fairly decent as far as gaming goes for games like PUBG Mobile, Asphalt 9, I did have an issue when I first got this that it wouldn't play Asphalt 9 for some reason, but eventually it started to work after an update. This still gets the job done when it comes to gaming. It's just the graphics might be a little bit lower or have lower frame rates, but it's still going to be fun to play games for most people in my opinion. This tablet also has improved battery life, lasting over seven and a half hours in my battery drain test. So a little above average compared to other tablets I've tested and better than the older Tab S6 Lite. Another nice thing is you've got a speaker on each side of the tablet. So if you're not using the headphone jack or Bluetooth headphones, they're pretty nice and loud. Maybe not quite as loud as the Tab S8, but I still feel like they get loud enough, especially if you turn on Dolby Atmos.
When it comes to the cameras, the front facing camera is probably just good enough for Zoom meetings or whatever you're using these days for video conference calls. It's just over on the side versus on the long edge. So not really the best placement. And the rear camera is not gonna be the best out there. But again, probably good enough for most people, especially in this category. So I would say if you have the older 2020 version Tab SX Lite, you're probably not gonna wanna upgrade to this. It's just a little too close in pretty much every category unless you just want the longer updates. But if you're on the fence about this one, you may just want to wait and see what the tab S8 FE, or it might be called S9 FE. I would assume it's going to come out later this year, and I still feel like that's going to be the next popular budget-friendly tablet from Samsung in 2023. And it even sounds like they may come out with more than one size or more than one version. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.